The iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max have some major camera advantages over the regular iPhone 14, such as telephoto zoom. But a new exclusive feature for this year is a 48 megapixel sensor for the main wide camera in the Pro models. And based on our testing, it produces some pretty amazing results. The beauty of shooting 48 megapixel images is that you have a lot more pixels to play with, especially if you want to crop, reframe, or zoom in. I took several photos with the 48 megapixel Pro RAW setting on and off to see how much of a difference it makes. Note that we converted the files to JPEG images for the basis of this comparison, but you can still see a vast difference in detail, color, and overall quality. Let's take a look. In this first photo taken in Times Square, we zeroed in on a winged baby basket atop a building. And you can see that the Pro Raw mode delivers a lot more detail as we cropped in. The straw around the baby in particular is a lot sharper looking, as are the wings behind it. The building in the background looks more natural as well, as it's artificially punched up by the iPhone 14's computational photography. And even the neon lights on the right look more realistically subtle. The 48 megapixel shot is simply cleaner than the 12 megapixel version, where a little bit of fuzziness has crept into the image. For this next shot, we snap this photo of the carousel in Bryant Park. Check out the butterfly and especially the detailing to the right. I appreciated the sharpness in the blue butterfly as we zoomed in, and the bluish green color seems to deepen. The 12 megapixel version of the same shot artificially amped up the contrast. Also note how the lights get a bit blown out in the 12 megapixel photo and are more muted and realistic in the 48 megapixel image. Now this is an interesting shot because you have the bright sky in the background surrounded by buildings, making for a tricky photo. At first glance, the 12 megapixel photo from the iPhone 14 Pro Max looks more inviting because of the saturated colors. There's also more contrast between the sky and clouds. However, there's a lot more noise in the 12 megapixel photo as opposed to very little in the 48 megapixel shot as we zoom in. The building to the left of the Prudential sign almost looks like a painting in the 12 megapixel image. This is a nice, challenging photo because of all the shadows around the fountain. Let's see what happens when we get up real close. The biggest area of difference I see is in the water. You can make out more droplets in the 48 megapixel photo compared to the 12 megapixel shot of the same fountain. There's also a more even balance to the lighting in the 48 megapixel iPhone 14 Pro Max shot, similar to what we see from Google Pixel phones. These photos of the William Cullen Bryant statue look dramatically different. In this case, the 12 megapixel iPhone 14 Pro Max shot turns the statue too dark to the point where it's almost a black blob. You can make out a lot more fine details in the 48 megapixel photos, especially in the face and right hand. And while the lettering doesn't stand out as much in the Pro Raw shot, it's more natural looking. I'm honestly surprised that both phones were able to render the bird on top of this statue so well, given how dark things are in the shadows. But once you zoom in, the difference is night and day. The iPhone 14 Pro Max's Pro Raw mode did a fantastic job capturing the face on this dark statue. It's much easier to make out the beard and hairline in this shot than with the 12 megapixel version. The grace building in the background also looks sharper. The bird stands out a bit more in the 12 megapixel photo, but this is before editing. This photo was taken across Bryant Park with Empire State Building in the background. This is the only photo where at least the unedited results from the 48 megapixel shot didn't impress as much as I hoped. If I were to share one of these photos, I'd probably pick the 12 megapixel version at least before editing. The blue sky is richer and there's more contrast once again. The Pro Raw photo is flatter and it almost seems like there's a film over the image, especially when you look at the Empire State Building. But this raw image gives editors more of a blank canvas from which to tweak. Overall, the photo shot and pro raw mode offer more realistic, lifelike contrast, particularly in the shadows, and feature fewer digital artifacts. There's less sharpening by the iPhone's camera software, and the images keep a broader dynamic range for making edits later. While the 12 megapixel photos from the iPhone 14 Pro Max are stellar, you simply have a lot more creative freedom in pro raw mode. With a good photo editing app, or even Apple's, you can get the colors exactly how you want so I would definitely give it a shot. Be sure to follow at Tom's Guide on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.